Oh, hello. My name is uh, Onion Creature, and I've got, I felt a profound need to make a video today uh, because HAL Laboratory, who you may know, is the creators of uh, the Kirby video games, which is just pretty of my, my favorite video games. They have uh, just recently released a, a mobile game entitled Part Time UFO. Now, this game was released in Japan last year, it was only recently released in English. Which means that I got the chance to play it. Um, I downloaded it on my phone. It's like a hundred megabytes or something like that. And it's a fantastic time. I just, I really wanted to talk about it because I think it's super, super fun. Um, you essentially, you play as a UFO. And what you do is you go around and you basically help people do the jobs. Like you can, you help a farmer carry oranges to his truck and you help you help a, a museum a, a associate to rebuild museum uh, artifacts, and you, you can help some construction workers to construct buildings, um, and just stuff like that. And the main gameplay consists of you using your, your crane and then lifting and moving objects from one place to another. And it sort of reminds me a lot of the Kirby games, where they take the simple mechanic and yet they build around that and they make make a full game around it. They do some really cool things with it. The game um, can actually be quite tricky. There are um, uh, about, I think about 30 full levels in the game. Some of the later ones do get pretty tricky. There's one in this particular where you have to build a robot out of blocks and I, find, I found some of those ones to be really, really uh, challenging just to get it all balanced correctly and figuring out the right configuration of the blocks. It's very interesting. And it's really cool. The music, especially, is fantastic. It's uh, done by my boy Shogo Sakai. S somehow, the way you pronounce it, it's similar to that. Um, known for his work in uh, some of the Kirby games. Uh, I love the soundtrack in this. It's, it's fantastic. It's mo all the songs are sort of a remix of the main theme. It's really adorable, and it's got this f f strange little vocalization in it. I, I, I love it. I love it. It's, it's great stuff. It's, it's a highlight. Visuals are really nice and simple. It's sort of a cartoony, pixelated style. It's very effective and simple, and everything's like really clear, and um, all the user interfaces are all nice and good. So you earn money for each first job you do. And what you can do with that money is you can buy little outfits for yourself. And this sort of reminded me of Box Boy, um, because some of the costumes have different attributes, like you can get a speed boost or um, catch fish better, stuff like that. So I thought that was really cool. And it's, it's a great variety of costumes. It has a cameo from another HAL character. Um, one thing I do find kind of interesting is that this game is not released, um, as far as I can tell, by any uh, association with Nintendo. Um, it seems to be HAL just on their own. It's sort of under their own brand of like the HAL egg brand. So I think it'd be really interesting to see uh, what HAL does next in terms of these mobile games. I'd, I'd love to see more of Part-Time UFO. What I love about Part-Time UFO, um, it's actually, um, it's, a, it's a buy buy once title and then you have it. It's uh, $4. It sort of reminded me of some of the early mobile games. I think that used to be more of a thing earlier in the mobile, day, mobile game days is where we had games where you just pay a flat fee and then it was your game. Somewhat recently they moved much more to the free to play model. Um, which works for some games, but I think um, this creates sort of a more pure experience and it feels very self-contained and uh, definitely good for the price, uh, $4. Prime, prime, good, good, good price is very good. Um, yeah, so overall this game is just fantastic. It's super fun, super cute. Uh, it, it'll keep you entertained for, for quite a few hours and uh, it's wonderful. It's just it's just a grand, grand time, and uh, you really ought to play it. It's on pretty much all mobile devices, as far as I know. And uh, go out and buy that. And then, damn, we got Kirby Star Allies releasing just this month. The Switch turning turning one. Holy God! All this stuff is happening in the world. So yeah, I just I just had to make a video about this game. Huge old recommendation from the old Onion Creature dude. I like it because it's sort of it's nice and simple, and it is what it is. It's just a nice self-contained little package of, of, of goodness. So, yeah, I'm pretty much done talking now. Bye.